Hey, you can just get one mistake. Just as in every new world, old Zeke here has got something that he wants us to find. <laughs> this time, it is Glowfish. Now, I listened to him before I started this recording. I listened to him a little bit. And it seems like he has got, undergone age reduction surgery, at least in his voice. Because he does not sound like, even though he has that same crazy eye and kind of, kind of, yeah, thing going on there. Even though he has all that, he doesn't sound like the same Zeke. So listen to him. Let's see what he's got to say. And let's go ahead and find these blowfish for him. All right, Zeke. Take it away, brother. What up, wizard? <laughs> it sure is nice to see a friendly face here in, uh, uh, wherever it is we are. <laughs> I could use some help. See what I mean? That's a different voice actor now. Used to be, he had a really old, scratchy cigarette smoker's kind of voice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now he doesn't have that anymore. Somebody's trying to imitate the old Zeke, but they're doing it about as badly as I am. So let's go. Let's keep on going. See this owl gal, Hootie from Avalon. She hired me to collect some blowfish from the Tradewind Skyway, and I caught her a whole mess of them. Well, go, well, golly gee, Wilkers. But as we was sailing back to Avalon, out of nowhere, the ship's captain starts hollering about a wormhole, and everything went haywire. It must have done, because here you are, Zeke, in the middle of flight nowhere. Now, I didn't see no worm, but I did see our ship get ate up by an electromagnetic rift in space time and spit out in the middle of yonder storm. <laughs> really? Wow. Okay. Of all the things you expect to come out of Zeke's mouth, the scientific explanation for a wormhole was not it. Okay, sure. It flung our skyship and, and all its cargo, including them blowfish, every which old way. Poor Hootie is gonna be devastated. I know, unless you make it, unless you have us quest and find all these blowfish for her. So, if you happen to spot them blowfish during your travels, could you scoop them up for me? I sure would appreciate it. I'll bet you would. Let's go ahead and do that for old Zeke here. All right, guys, all foolishness aside, Let's go ahead now and head out and get these blowfish. I will show you where they're at in detail. Some of them are pretty easy to find. Some of them not so much. I'm going to go go to each area, explain where we're at on the map, and then run directly to it so that you can see which right, which left, which forward, which back, what you got to do. All right, let's go ahead out and go to the first one now. All right, for the first blowfish... You take off from Zeke and you head back through town, back over towards your craft ship. Now, during this guide, I'm not going to switch my mount on and off and do a bunch of different things like that and make it confusing and all that whatnot. I'm just going to run to the place and I'm going to use the stream portals where necessary or where available. The first one is pretty self-explanatory. The first blowfish is right here under the crashed ship. You come around and you can go either side of the broken wing. Come right around here and the blowfish is behind the stone that it, the wing is resting on right here. It, this is pretty. This one is pretty self-explanatory and it doesn't really need a map, but being as I'm going to show the map on all the rest of them, just for continuity's sake, I'll go ahead and show the map location where this is at. Right here, you see my green mark right underneath the spiral sigil there on the map above the arc sign, right there. All right, the next one is going to be in the aerial jungle and I'm going to head directly over to that now and I'll join up with you whenever I get a little bit closer to it. Give you a better idea step by step of where it's at okay you come through the doors from the shore and into the jungle there's not even a steam port here. it's so close you just as well be walking it come down through the <laughs> the very damp trail i watched this thing look really slick and muddy you're gonna break to the left and follow the curve past the the monkey spider cave come up here to this white tree you'll have a quest up here for that uh that spirit to float you across or anyway there's a spirit quest here, but it has nothing to do with our current thing. The tree is just a marker. Come here to the tree, turn around, look directly behind you, and the blowfish is right here. On the map, it's right here. You'll see my green arrow right down there, south central to the map, where the, where the big muddy looking mound is at. <laughs> looks like a, actually it looks kind of like a big hot pile of like elephant poo or dino poo or something like that. But anyhow, that's where it's at. Okay, I'm gonna go now and port back to the aerial shore and use the stream portal for the next one. Okay, the next blowfish is going to be in Xanadu. 
Okay, go ahead and take the stream portal to Xanadu. Or go there manually if you're still on the quest line. This one is a little bit of a hike to get back to. And, I mean, you can snap on a mount yourself. But like I said before, I'm going to just go ahead and run it just so you guys can see what's going on. Everything is more clear and I'm not confused as to whether I turn my mount on or off or any of that other stuff. You can come all the way back past all those shadow guys in the main village area through the door here. And you may still be doing the quest line part where all this is blocked off. You may not. It just really depends on whether you come through sewers and when you're doing this, whatnot, like that. Anyhow, this is the actual location. You're going to come up the steps of this main hall where, like, the Chancellor has its offices. You're going to bear to the left and take the left ramp up. You may or may not have this instance open. I do. It's no big deal either way. You're going to go around this tower. And the blowfish is right here hiding behind the tower. All right, on the map, it is right here. If you see my green arrow, it's up by the purple roofs of the palace right there. Right in that corner. All right. Now, being as we're already here, I'm going to go to the next blowfish. And this one, this one is a difference because this is the only area coming up where there is a blowfish but no crown imperial. So I'm going to go ahead and just walk directly from this. The reason I'm walking back down to it is that the, where this is placed at and the way it's placed is pretty much the same distance whether you walk from this one or if you port back to aerial shore and use the stream portal, what have you. It's pretty much the same way, either way. And there's really no point in porting if you don't have to or porting if it's not going to be shorter. Walk down here to the main fountain again, and you're going to go into the Xanadu sewers for this one. Again, this is the one area where there is no Crown Imperial that you have to find. In the main sewers, you come into this big room. You're going to bear to the right. You're going to make sure you brought your high water so that you don't get... Uh, <laughs> how, how we want to put this? You don't want to get uh, sewer nastiness. There we go, on your shoes. You have to be careful these days of what you say because, well, YouTube wants to flag your video if you say anything more than sore throat. Come along this pathway here to the side, way back here, cross this bunch of boards, and you're going to go to the break in the wall here, and come in here, and this blowfish is right here behind the ladder. Now I don't think this is going to let you show it on the map, I'll give it a try. No it doesn't, see it just shows you Xanadu. So this one's a little bit tricky and you really need to follow where I walked, because you can't see the map for it. But anyhow, that is where the Xanadu sewers blowfish is at. I'm going to go ahead now, I'm going to port back to the shore and use the stream portal for the next part. Okay, for the outer Athenor blowfish, you come back to the shore just like we've been doing. Go through the stream portal to outer Athenor. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to take this main pathway from the instance right in between these two fight dual circles, whatever. You're going to go past Kristen Frostrunner all the way down through the middle of their town to where the ice dwarf is at. You're going to pass the ice dwarf on either side. It doesn't make any difference. And come up this path, this trail. On the first left, you're going to go up the hill. You should see this guy with the ice axe if he's here. You're going to come up here to the frost spawns. And the blowfish is right there in plain sight. Right here. See that? See that? On the map, it's right, my green arrow is right below the Great Hall sign. It looks like I'm standing in a wall, but, well, I'm really not. Right there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to port back to Aerial Shore so we can pick up the inner Athen. You know what? Never mind. I'm going to go ahead and just walk this back. It's going to be about the same either way. Go ahead and walk this back to Inner Athenor, or back up to the stream portal so I can go to Inner Athenor from this one. It really, yeah, it's really not that, that big of a deal. It's pretty much a walk either way. But it's not super, super far, so it's not super, super bad. Just walk back up here and go to the stream portal for Inner Athenor. All right, 
it doesn't matter if you walk back up through Outer Athenor to get to the stream portal or if you port back to the RL Shorn yours that one. Either way, you're going to use the stream portal to come to Inner Athenor, walk down the main stairs like you saw me do, come around this fight right here, try to avoid the great balls of fire, walk across this main bridge over the fiery abyss of doom, go to the left and walk across this short bridge over the fiery abyss of doom, <laughs> walk up these big steps here to the main palace, or I think they call it a council hall or something like that, whatever it is. Instead of going up those stairs, you're going to turn to the right, right here. And instead of going down these steps, you're going to turn to the left right here. The blowfish is kind of tucked back in this little niche right here. Here he is in all his glory. Got away, Lady Shadow. Here he is in all his glory. Okay, on the map, he is right there. You can see my green arrow right below the Presidium sign. Okay, yeah, they call it the Presidium. There you go. Right next to that big old lava flow. Okay, now we've only got one more blowfish, and that one is in Sapidia's stomach. So I'm going to go ahead now and pop back using the ports and go to that one, and we'll wrap this up. Okay, for the final blowfish, you will go through the stream portal to Sapidia's stomach. Ask me this is a <laughs> crazy plan in the first place, but this is, I, I have to give these guys credit. This is the first time you haven't had to go to, into an instance and deal with a ridiculous boss to pick up one of these items for a training point. Thankfully, they've changed that this time. You come through this first area here, you're gonna have to quest to get this broken open. And just as you come through the area, look directly left. And the blowfish is right here, right where you want it, right there. Now, just like the Crown Imperial quest, I'm doing this in test realm, and <laughs> what a shocker, the quest is bugged where you cannot turn it in. So I'm going to go ahead and port back to Zeke now and finish up the quest or finish up this video there. But you can't finish up the quest at this time. For some reason, it won't let you pick up this last, the blowfish in the last areas here. Not quite sure what's going on with that. But I'm sure that by the time live is around, this will be ironed out. Okay, back here by Zeke at last. And while I have shown you the locations of all these, as you can see, the quest is <laughs> still bugged. I'm sure that by the time live round comes around, this will be fixed up for you and you guys will be able to do this. And that's why I made this video so you can have a reference ahead of time. You can just run right through, get these done, get it out of your way. No problem, finished up. For now though, well, <laughs> for now though, we can't. Test Realm and it's true and most beautiful fashion. Bugged as all get out. Guys, there it is. This is all of the Blowfish for Zeke's Quest. If you guys enjoyed this video, if it helps you out in the future, if, well, if you just like hearing me rattle on, by all means, sub like, subscribe, share, do all those things you know how to do, and as well, hit me up on Twitch. I stream pretty much every evening in the world. Most of the time it's Twi uh, most of the time, sorry. Most of the time it's Wizard 101, although sometimes I do Dead by Daylight and some other things just to throw some monkey wrenches in the works there. I do that. I'm bad like that. Anyhow, you're more than welcome to show up. We always have a good time, and we'd love to have you there. Until next time, this is Skull Mystic, reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, Gamer Skull Mystic? Welcome to Pet Training Baby Tomega, the Imperia mini-series. In this mini-series, I will be training Baby Tomega every pet that they have available as a drop. So far, I think there are globulins for every...